Hello, my little galaxies. Welcome back to my channel. And oh my god, I am so excited. Um, Vampire Survivors is one of my favorite games. I have, like, I have 70 hours in it. And it's getting an animated show. Which could lead to a movie. And then that could lead to an entire franchise with merchandise. And a, maybe a sequel. Maybe a 3D video game. More DLC. Everything. This... Oh, I'm so happy right now. Um... This is going to be a different style of video. I'm just going to play Vampire Survivor as well, explaining what I want in the animated show. Yeah, uh, simple as that. Uh, I'm, oh my god. I'm just so excited right now. Um, so, I don't even know where to start. Um, Okay. Um. Okay, let's do this thing. So, Vampire Survivors is one of these games where it's like, oh, you run around, top down, exploring game, and you just have to do shit. <laughs> Simple as that, Mill. Billy. Uh, you have to survive 30 minutes against these monsters, and after you survive 30 minutes, you win. Even though a Grim Reaper comes, kill, t comes to kill you, and it's like, oh god, we died, but not really. Also, I don't care if I'm spoiling, the game's been out for a long time, and we're now at DLC. So, if you haven't played Vampire Survivors, go buy it. It's only like five, not even five bucks, it's like two dollars on steam plus the dlc which makes it like a total of seven dollars it is an amazing game everybody should play this i love it with all my heart and soul i haven't been doing i haven't made videos about it but i love it um okay i okay my first hope for the show i want it to, for one i want it to have, at least have two seasons i just want to make that clear I want two seasons. I just really do. Um. Next. I want the show to focus on the main characters that you get when you first boot up the game. Be it the whip guy, the, the holy water lady, and one of the guys with the wands. I want them to be the main focus. And the villain? I want the main villain to be the Grim Reaper, the guy who kills you after you survive for 30 minutes. I w or if you're playing, um, or if you beat the final boss, then one of the random guys who just... One of the other random Reapers we have in the game. But, you may be wondering, isn't there a giant Reaper at the end who, like, who is the main bad guy? Yes, there's a giant reaper. He is the final boss. So if if we only get two seasons, then the the Red Death, the first reaper who was ever in the game, will be the first villain. And then what can happen is it sets up the final villain, which is the the main boss man. However, however. Something that I think would be really cool is if we get tons of seasons, like maybe five or seven, maybe seven, who knows? No, that's just extremely wishful thinking on my part. Um, we're probably going to get two or three at most, but I wish we get seven. I love, I, I'm just so excited. Uh, I don't. I never have a script. I probably should have had a script for this episode, for this video since I'm all over the place, but, um, now, well, I don't, so, um, yeah, that's how it works. Anyways, and maybe how they work weapon evolutions, because, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this, but for my, for the people who haven't seen Vampire Survivors, my weapon, the, like, if you get the axe weapon and then upgrade it with the candle, it turns into scythes, and then the scythes fly around you. 
oh, an upgraded. How they can work the upgraded weapons is like, in the beginning, they start with their basic weapons. So, the holy water, the whip, and such. But as it goes on, they they learn new abilities. These new abilities are are the upgrades you can get. So like face damage up, so on and so forth. And and then at the very end of it, they learn how to evolve their weapons. Maybe it's forever. Maybe it's just for a temporary battle, or maybe they only can do it when they're really tired, like as a last resort. But they evolve it somehow, some way. And and then they be get the evolution. Simple as that. Another thing I want them to focus on is maybe focus on the two new DLC characters. Like Hold on. Where are they? Here we go. Look. Luminary and Geneva Vive is what I like to call them. Luminary, Geneva Vive, yeah. Maybe what these characters do is it's like, oh, it's like Geneva Vive is like the main villain, and at the very end they turn into Geneva, the the strongest form which. You, and it's the form you need to fight to actually unlock Geneva Vive. And, and then what happens is it's like, oh, oh my god, ha, oh my god, he's a villain. Or maybe like, or maybe what they can do is like, Luminari is a part of the crew, and they find her at the end of episode 2, episode 3 maybe. And after after the episode, they become a main member of the crew. However, uh, little did does the crew know, they are very strong, like extremely strong. And what happens is like. Luminary maybe forgot about how strong they truly are, so it's like discovering Luminary's true powers. But at the same time, Geneva V forgot, didn't forget their true powers, but what happened is Luminary and Geneva V fought, and Luminary trapped Geneva V in this more mortal form, in this more human form. And so what happens is the entire story is about like trying to get Geneva Vive to not awaken their true abilities again. And Luminari, because they trapped Geneva Vive in this more human form, they forgot that they were super all powerful. And me and then it's like, holy, these two are literal demons and angels. <laughs> And at the very end, Geneva V turns into the full-on demon, but it's like, haha, joke's on you, I'm, no, they turn into the full villain, but, but, um, Luminary also gains their full strength back. Somehow, maybe it's like, maybe they get an upgraded weapon, or something. I don't know. Uh... But when they up get the upgraded weapon, you know what happens? They they get the upgraded weapon, and they turn strong. And then it's engaged in final cool fight. Yeah, final awesome battle. And maybe that's like season three or four. Again, I really want a lot of seasons for this show. I love this sh game so much. Um, and, but in the first few seasons, it's the other characters learning about their abilities. And maybe Luminary has this arc where it's like, oh, everybody has such cool abilities and I'm here with literally nothing. And it's like, oh no, Geneva Vive, 
is growing stronger, and Luminari doesn't have any abilities. They're becoming kind of a liability, but not really. And maybe, and we don't know. And the whole game about, and the whole Vampire Survivors game is about hunting this vi this giant final vampire, and, uh, and the final boss is that final vampire. But like, it's a Grim Reaper. I'm pretty sure it's not a vampire. It's a Grim Reaper. So. I, that isn't, that isn't the may, main vampire, and I'm assuming, eventually, in one of the DLCs, we're gonna fight the last vampire. Maybe. Hopefully. Hey, maybe. I don't know. Um, and maybe it's the final DLC, where it's the actual finale of Vampire Survivors, and it's like, oh my god. This amazing show is now ending, and I will cry, because I love this. And, and maybe how the show starts is it's like, maybe the whip guy is really strong, so he's cocky. And, but then everybody else also gets super strong. And it's like, oh, it's not as cruel anymore. Also, maybe what happens is like, um, or maybe we see Geneva V recruit some of the other characters you can play as, like the Fire Wand guy and the, um, and the Lightning Ring guy, or go, I forgot them. Or maybe Queen Sigma is like one of the last members of Geneva V's crew. But eventually, they all join forces with the Whip Guy. And yes, I'm assuming the Whip Guy is going to be the main character because he's literally the first character you unlock, I'm pretty sure, if I'm remembering correctly. So, like... Or maybe they won't have a main character, and it's like, haha! We just don't have one. That may be cool. I don't know. I don't know. But then, it's like, and, and yeah, it would be like, haha, friendship, but also not, because I doubt Vampire Survivors would go in that route, and now I'm just rambling and not presenting any useful information, but it's just like, yeah, I'm really excited. Now, I do have some worries, like, like, how it may just be where it's like, maybe they don't present the characters correctly, or there may be backlash for the show because maybe they don't animate it in the way people want it. Or maybe they don't present stuff in the way people want it and the people get angry. That's happened before. With a lot of ad adaptations. So maybe they just screwed the entire thing up. However, the people walking behind it is the people who made the John Wick movies and the fucking Sonic movies. All movies that did really well. So, um, maybe it's going to be different because it's an animated show, not an animated movie. However, they will all, oh wait, hold on, I just realized both of those, all of those movies are live action. Are they going to do a live action fucking vampire survivors show? Please don't make a live action vampire survivors show. I'm scared now. I just realized that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Um. But. I'm pretty sure they got it. And it said this. It's, no, wait. The creator said it's gonna be animated. Never mind. It, I'm dumb. I'm a dumb dumb. Uh. Um. But maybe. What happens is they have some, oh, maybe they have some series exclusive villains, like, like, uh, maybe they adapt Luminar and Geneva V differently in the show than in how they are in the games. And so we get the movie or TV show versions of them in the game as a DLC. That would be nice. And 
but really, this is, this show is basically the future of Vampire Survivors. If it doesn't go well, we may see the end of Vampire Survivors. But if it goes well, I mean, if it doesn't go well, then we may see the end of Vampire Survivors. But if it goes well, we could get movies. Movies lead to maybe season twos and threes of the show. And maybe those are just as good or, or better. And then those lead to, like, fucking, I don't know. Uh, did, did they already have merchandise? Do they? No, I don't think they do. But that leads to merchandise, and then merchandise can lead to maybe more shows, and more movies, and then maybe we get a 3D video game version of Vampire Survivors, or Vampire Survivors 2, and then maybe Vampire Survivors is put into other games, like Rivals of Aether as a workshop character. By the way, I'm going to be making Rivals of Aether content. And, or, and then that may lead to a Vampire Survivors fighting game. That sounds like an actually really fun sh a video to make. What would the possible movesets be? Oh my god, I want to do that now. But like... Then, but like, I don't know. I'm just... This video isn't, oh, talking about... It, at this point, the video isn't even... Oh yeah, we're talking about the... My, we're talking about my hopes for the Vampire Survivors movie. This is just me gushing and being so excited that we're even getting an animated show to begin with. Vampire Survivors creators, I doubt you're watching this because you have way better amazing things to do than watch my very small channel. By the way, we're almost at 50 subscribers, so thank you all so much. I will, no, actually, thank you all so much. I'll be doing a Q&A when I reach 50 subscribers. Which maybe it maybe it's too early to do a Q&A, but I do not care. I, I want to do it. Um, but yeah, I doubt the Vampire Survivors crew are watching this. But hey, if you are, you're amazing. Maybe I can collab with you when I'm a biggest uh, channel. Maybe you can sponsor me. Please sponsor me. I You don't even need to pay me. I would like to be paid, but you don't need to. I will gladly just sponsor your game. I love your game to death. I have 70 plus hours in it. So, yeah. I'm very excited about the Vampire Survivors TV show. Um... I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm just, again, really fucking excited. That's all, really. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just excited. Oh, I have one more idea. What if, like, Vampire Survivors, what if it then, what if the show, like, also, Lot, not an idea, but just something I want to mention. We don't really get lore in the game. Like, there's no lore. It's kind of just, hey, vampire, kill them. And then it's like, okay, understood. Go look for vampire. Which I think works for this game. I don't think it needs lore. It's just like, okay, here, would I, here I am. Hey, game theory, Uh, that, that's your cue to, like, pop in and be like, hey, hey, dearest vampire survivors, right? <laughs> I love you, Game Theory. Uh, anyways, uh, imagine I get big enough one day to talk to MatPat. Oh, that would be my dream. Oh, I have met so many YouTubers I want to talk to. But, okay, back on track. But with the show, we're going to get the law. we been desperately craving for. We're gonna finally know who the hell are Geneva V and Luminary. What the hell is going on with the freaking vampire? What who what are the Grim Reapers? Why is there a giant Grim Reaper who can literally manipulate gravity and time itself? What is happening? 
And why is there chicken on the floor? Why is there floor chicken? How does taste how does floor chicken taste? This these are needed things we need to know. Yes, floor chicken how how it tastes is something we need to know. I will fight you. Um So yeah. Uh I think this is where I'm probably going to end it. This is this it was more of a random shit video if anything and i barely i barely even talked about my hopes for the vampire survivor show but i'm just so excited for it I, as soon as i announced as soon as it was announced i was i immediately called like all my friends and was just like did you hear about the vampire survivor tv show announcement and they were like the fuck is a vampire survivor and then i explained it and then they were like cool I don't really care, but good for you. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Vampire Survivors is an amazing game. Go buy it. I'm so excited for the TV show. I'll probably be doing an episode review when it comes out. Like, I'll probably be reviewing each video episode on my channel and then walking and then like talking about what I like, disliked, and all that. So, look forward to that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hope y'all, hope y'all like today's video, even though it was really wacky. It was more, it, I don't even know if I should upload this. I probably will. No, I definitely will. I spent too much time on this not to upload this. But, yeah, let me know if y'all want more videos like this, which is me talking about me being really excited for something or hating something. Maybe you want me being more angry. I, I, I'm, a, I'm actually kind of angry in real life. I'm not super angry, but I... Do, I do have a lot of opinions on shit, so maybe you want to hear those opinions. Maybe you don't. Maybe you never will click on this video and it will become one of my least viewed videos on my channel. I don't know. Vampire Survivors is getting a TV show. That's all I know, and I'm really excited. Anyways, have an amazing day, y'all. Uh, if your day was bad, well, I hope I made your day a little bit better. Maybe. Hopefully. Uh... Yeah, I hope I made your day better, and have an amazing night. If it's nighttime where you are, make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and be chaotic, because chaos is needed. Without chaos, there is no life. Um, and I guess sayonara, everybody? Yeah, I guess. I guess so. Bye, everybody. Have an amazing day. See ya.